guys, I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back, and I do appreciate the support. Guys, the BS don't stop, and I'm going to tell you something. I wanted to do this video last night, but I seen it too late. I was asleep. I'm, well, I was going to sleep, but check this out. It is a mess out here, and it's like every day I do a story, it's like another story comes behind it that takes the place of it, and it's like you can't believe some of this stuff you can't make up, such as this story right here. Do you see this half-naked dude right here? What do you think he was doing? And what do you think he was caught doing in South Miami-Dade? Now, he ain't caught and apprehended, but a ton of women have came out and said this guy was acting inappropriate with him. And the way he was doing it is something that will send chills down anybody's spine, whether you're a man or woman. This is, man, this is a mess. Take a look at this, and we're going to come back and roast this dude. Now to a new video you'll see only on Local 10 of a man who has been terrorizing women in Southwest Miami-Dade. Multiple women say that they have been groped while walking or jogging in Local 10's Andrew Perez. He broke this story and is live now with the new details for us tonight. Andrew. That's right. We first brought you this crime alert just yesterday. It's specifically just women being targeted in this area of Southwest Miami-Dade. And the big concern, the big question right now, is there more than one perp out there? I was like, this is very weird. Something's going on. The latest victim to come forward says she noticed the same car following. Eventually, you see the driver pull over nearby as she's jogging down the street. She says he got out and started running. The guy got out of his car and he's running full speed at me with the shirt wrapped around his head so I can't see his face. We blurred his face only because police are still following leads on this image. She ran to the side and got away. The same day, however, blocks away, Another incident, a car parked, a woman walks by, and the driver follows her, approaches, then runs away and hides near Southwest 58th Terrace and 109th Avenue. I'm terrified. I don't feel safe. I need to carry a firearm with me. Here we are a week later, this past Sunday, this victim came forward near the Snapper Creek Trail. Turns around and runs to me, reaches out as he's like, you know, moaning sexually and I jump into the street. A similar man caught on camera aggressively grabbing a woman's behind just minutes after that, a few blocks away. Since we first broke this story, tips and photos have been pouring in. Police fanning out, following leads, getting slight variations in descriptions of the car or the perp, so they're piecing it all together. Detectives say they need anyone with info to step up. Quote, our detectives from Kendall District are aware and have been investigating. If there are any other victims who have not reported their incidents, please urge them to come forward. This is a very tight-knit community. So many neighbors out here have really done a great job informing each other, talking to each other, getting the word out there. If you have any information whatsoever, if you've had any run-ins, call Crime Stoppers, call Miami Day Police. The number to Crime Stoppers, 305 471 tips. We're in Southwest Miami Dade. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the story, and I hope they catch this son of a bitch. And I'm going to be honest with you. This is a very scary scenario. I want you to really think about that. Remember in horror movies back in the day when you would walk, like you would see people walking? And uh, in fact, Halloween, the movie Halloween is one of the movies I think. I, you know, you can probably relate to this. Remember the one part, I can't remember which Halloween episode it was, I mean movie it was, when Michael Myers was standing out and somebody was walking and Michael Myers was standing there and then he just quickly went behind the uh, fence or he went behind the tree. Remember that? Stuff like this reminds me of that. This guy was following women in their car, in his car. They're just running walking, doing whatever they want to do, and he's jumping out and feeling on them, grabbing on them, humping on them. What kind of crap is that? Covering his face and then running away. You cannot tell me that this type of behavior is a precursor to something greater. It's a buildup. This guy is early in, his, uh, in the infancy of him committing the crime to probably perhaps kidnapping somebody or just having somebody, just snatching somebody, uh, assaulting them, violating them, and then dumping them off on the side of the road. This is a very serious, scary thing. 
and it's real. It's real. Did you hear the one lady? I'm going to get my concealed carry license. I'm going to start carrying a gun on me. This guy walking up on random women, sticking his hand in front of them, whether they running or not, and feeling on a pterodactyl. Come on. You running down the street with a stoop with your shirt on your head, looking like a dumbass nun. You know what I'm saying? Getting up on people and doing the butt. I beat the shit. Yo, word is born. What's going on out here? This is like some what if stuff that you make as a joke. What, if you, what would you do if you're running down the street and the guy just came out and grabbed your butt and started humping on you? It's really happening. People are like, ah, oh, that wouldn't happen. It's like everything we say wouldn't happen is happening. It's like happening. What's wrong? This is a grown man. Did you see him around the fence peeking like he Benny Hill or something? Hopping behind a tree, going back behind the gate. Think about that. What goes on in the human psyche where you're like, hmm, I'm going to get in the car and go fill somebody up. Let me go grab some ass. Woman had to walk with a man with her. It'd be crazy if he came out and grabbed the man's butt next. It's your mother. Yo, it's wild. It's really scary out here. And it's like, you know, we desensitize. Like if I wasn't on YouTube, I wouldn't even be looking at none of this stuff. I wouldn't even be believing it because I don't watch the news. Most of the people don't watch the news. And like now that you see this stuff, it's like right in your face and like we never see it. We never see it. And you notice the girls he grabbing skinny, skinny uh, Hispanics or uh, look like white women. Grab a juggernaut female. Grab the JFN and see what happened. They got big butts. You can grab that with both hands and hump like it's a water bed. See what happened. Yeah, that's what happened. That Yeah, grab, grab on one of them. You know what I'm saying? Grab on that. Juggernaut real, juggernaut dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Mess. Did you hear the one woman? He came up on me and started touching me and grabbing on my butt and he was moaning. Oh my God. From a man hearing that about another man, oh, my, that's embarrassing. That'll make another man fight him because he's not acting like a man. Bro, you make all us look bad. Can you imagine that? You running down the street, getting your workout. Oh, I'm going to get in shape. Summertime coming. Oh, it's a nice day. I love Florida. All of a sudden, <laughs> get your stupid ass out of here. That right there, prison can't fix. That right there, prison can't fix. If you can't look into the flowers, you can look in the barrel. Either way, it's going to be a pretty sight. Last thing you'll see is a flash and it'll go black, or you'll see some flowers that'll go black. Either way, you ain't going to be able to feel on nothing ever because you showed that the gift that you got from God, you can't make it a gift for others. Your own selfish lust controls you. And don't get me wrong, man. I mean, women are pretty. And, you know, God made it like that. But he also balanced, you know, the reasoning within man and the intelligence of what to do and not to do in the presence of women. So I don't want to hear shit. Is it mental illness? I don't know. But he'd get a lot to think about if he touched my wife like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a damn. Now, these type of people, they always get caught. They can't resist. He probably in the house watching himself on the news like, oh, that was me. Huh? Huh? But he not clicking in his head like, hey, you better cut. Up. You better stop while you're ahead. Because tomorrow he's going to see some girl with yoga pants and all of a sudden he's going to be driving. Skrr! <laughs> stupid stuff stupid grown man probably somebody's dad could you imagine that was your dad they clown you in school oh your dad grabbed ass your dad weak oh your dad oh that's bad what about if he was in jail y'all you know why i'd do it go around the room what was you in here for hey i'm in here for murder what you in here for i'm in here for something else i'm in here for drugs I'm in here for bank robbery. Hey, you, dude with the shirt on your face still. What you in here for? He looking out the, he looking at the uh, peak hole. He start moaning. Everybody like, what the hell? He looking at the uh, guard's butt, the female guard's butt over there. Uh, I'm like, oh, oh, we know what you in here for. Let's beat his ass, y'all. And I'll be the first one to fire on this stupid ass. Violate somebody like that. That's the thing that's crazy. They violate you. I mean, it's not like 
I mean, they got a touch on you. That, that's an icky feeling. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I ain't no woman. I don't know how that feel. But I mean, just to have somebody doing that to you, he, he ran with his shirt off. With the thing on his face in broad daylight. Chased her. Hawked her. <laughs> what is wrong with people? In fact, it don't even matter. We know what to do with people like this. Get them out of there. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I know y'all like wearing the yoga pants, and y'all, you know it's your right. But all men don't have common sense, and y'all be careful. Because he got a gun in his pants. Maybe it's time you put one in yours, right in the front. As soon as he come up and grab the back, you turn around, and you give him some justice. Go walk up on somebody. Get up on them and do the wild turkey. You don't even know if they got a man or not. Man, if you don't get your silly ass out of here. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason Channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I don't know if I said that yet. See you in the next video. Take care and be careful out there, y'all.